President Xi Jinping's grip on power would now appear absolute. If he has enemies, then they're hidden or unknown, or both. But some of those who've chronicled Xi's career say, you don't get to the top of Chinese politics without eliminating rivals and making enemies. He does, but it needs to be said that the Congress is an act of state pageantry. The fact that this Congress is happening means that these rivals have already been largely pushed to the sidelines. After becoming Communist Party chief a decade ago, Xi vowed to root out dishonest officials, both high-ranking tigers and low-level flies. The campaign went down well with the public, especially when it ensnared powerful and wealthy figures. Bo Chi Lai was a rising star of Chinese politics, even tipped as a future president. But within months of Xi becoming leader, Bo was serving a life sentence for corruption and abuse of power. No one was untouchable, including Zhao Yongkang, the man who'd been in charge of state security. He's also serving a life term for corruption and disclosure of state secrets. And the purge is not over. And more than four million people have been caught up in it. So it's been a very effective tool for Xi Jinping to both instill discipline within the Communist Party, but also clamp down on his rivals. Other analysts say the continuing campaign against corruption ahead of this Congress will ensure that Xi strengthens his hand over appointments to key decision-making bodies. Xi has led China for a decade. Now he's expected to end precedent by being appointed to a third term as party chief. So having seized control of the Chinese Communist Party, Xi Jinping then seized control of China, and China has become a lot less free, a lot more oppressive, far less open than it was 10 years ago. It's an accumulation of power unseen since Chairman Mao. And no leader since him has built a personality cult as strong. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera.